Hello, David here at merchantaccounts.ca. Today I'm tackling an easy question. What is two-factor authentication for payment processing? Stay tuned, we'll dig in in one second. So two-factor authentication is just a second step that occurs when somebody's buying something online. Now, I'm gonna start by talking about traditional online security. So you have AVS, that's where the customer types in their billing address and you get the address verification security result. And of course, on the back of your credit card, you have that little three digit number called the CVV code, the card verification value. And that is an additional check that people can put in. It's like an extra thing that the credit card processor can tell you if it matched when an e-commerce transaction is processed. But sometimes that's not enough. And that's where something like two-factor authentication comes in. That's where when the customer purchases something online, the transaction process is halted and a third party kicks in. That third party is almost always the card issuing bank. That's where the card issuer won't let the transaction be approved unless the card holder does something. They have to take a second step, a second factor of authentication. Now, commonly that can be like a text to your cell phone. Hey, we got this order from Swiss Chalet for $50. You know, press, press one if this is a legitimate transaction. And then the customer does it and the bank has now gone through the second factor of authentication so when the e-commerce transaction is processed, and I don't want to get into APIs or anything, but like that second factor authentication token is passed through with the transaction. So your credit card processor knows that this passed the second factor of authentication. It's more secure. I'm actually going to stop there because if you want more content on the technical specifics of uh, two-factor two authentication, leave a comment. But anyways, back to the topic at hand here. So when the transaction gets processed, the customer is doing this extra step, but it doesn't have to be a text. It could be a phone call. Hey, the, the customer's, call, customer's card issuing bank, that's only a little hard to say, calls the number on file and says, hey, we've noticed your credit card's trying to be used at this merchant. Is that you? You answer, you say yes. Again, you get the token. It could be a lot of folks. I noticed my, my friends from the UK in particular, they all have apps on their phone and the bank app sends a notification to the phone and they scan their fingerprint on the fingerprint reader on the phone and that passes the second factor of authentication. Now here's an important bit. How that second factor of authentication works is between the card issuing bank and the card holder. That's not up to you, the merchant. You don't have to deal with it. It's just going to magically happen. Visa and MasterCard have taken care of that for us thankfully, but it has to happen to get that second factor. Now, just as a side note, in the European Union, there's a directive called SCA, Strong Customer Authentication. So that two-factor authentication is mandated in Europe for e-commerce transactions. Customers can't purchase online without going through it. And I probably should have mentioned this a little bit earlier. The service that's most commonly used to do the second factor of authentication is called 3D Secure. So 3D Secure is the service offered by the card brands that it's the technical component that integrates the two-factor authentication. I have a feeling I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this today. So when you're setting up your website and you want to use two-factor authentication, you would say to your credit card processor, hey, I want to use 3D Secure. 3D Secure being the service used to do two-factor authentication. And every time you do run a transaction that is 3D Secure approved, i.e. it passed two-factor authentication, as a merchant, you can't get a chargeback for fraud. I should have, let me rephrase that. As a merchant, you can't get a chargeback for fraud. People can still call their bank and say, hey, I bought some shoes, the merchant never shipped them to me. But if you get used two-factor authentication, 3D Secure, and, it's a, and you get the second factor of authentication approved, in other words, the customer types in the text code on their cell phone, whatever they have to do, you cannot get a chargeback for fraud. So it is an absolutely wonderful service. Also, this was like, probably should have been like a 30 second video and how, I don't know how long this is, like three or four minutes. I hope I answered this. If I failed miserably, leave a comment, I'll reshoot this, but I hope it was helpful. It's a second step in the e-commerce checkout process. Thanks for watching and have a nice day there. Bye now. Thank you.